the grace to you and peace in the name of our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is Tuesday, June 9th. It's about 1230 here in the heart and soul of uh, the wonderful Heartside neighborhood of Grand Rapids. Just earlier, I met with a group that meets every Tuesday via Zoom to walk through the Acts of the Apostles. I'm doing a Bible study in the space of COVID-19. It's so fascinating to see how God utilized us and all of our limitations and all of our very humanity, uh, how God used us to go from this little small group in Jerusalem um, and then from there to Judea, to Samaria, to the ends of the earth with this very message that we continue to hold so dearly, this message of the gospel of God's love for everyone, of God's work in reconciliation through Jesus Christ, of the Holy Spirit continue to use the gifts that we have uh, to bring the fullness of God's reign um, into this world, into all of creation itself. It's a fascinating story, and it's an amazing story. Uh, my eyes continue to be opened wider every time I dive into the Acts of the Apostles, every time my heart feels that kind of tug in terms of, uh, of God's uh, use of, of ordinary believers like me, folks who have flaws and foibles, but people who can be used in glorious ways uh, because of who God is and how God continues to show up. I have a song that has always been one of my favorite uh, kind of responses to the gospel. It's a newer hymn, a Here I Am, Lord, that the question goes, like, whom shall I send, right? Here am I, Lord, it is I, Lord, I've heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord. If you lead me, I will hold your people in my heart. And in today's um, Bible study from Acts 11, we hear Peter doing just that in a very, very active way. And he said, who was I to hinder what God was doing beyond me? Right? And talking to the apostles and the other leaders up in Jerusalem about that baptism of Cornelius, this, this uncircumcised Roman soldier and his family and the whole cohort around him. He said, who was I, Peter said, to get in the way of God? If God's working in that space, I want to be sent. <laughs> I want to go where God's already at. I want to be doing what God is at work doing, reconciling people, restoring life, bringing joy and peace, um, the expansion of mercy and goodness, the continued uh, cultivation of beauty and life itself. Who am I to hinder that work? So not just sitting back, but then saying, help me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Help me participate in where you are already at, at work. Which I think is the way we need to continue to, to look for God at work. Both saying, I am in no way going to hinder how God can work through the Holy Spirit all around us. I'm getting out of the way. Breaking down any barriers. Knocking down any walls. Uh, both the mental walls we've created. Uh, the physical barriers we've created. The kind of uh, ways which we separate each other from others. Getting rid of those things. So that we can join fully the movement of the Holy Spirit all around us. Which is so needed right now so needed. We don't need to be building more walls or creating barriers around ourselves or bubbles around ourselves, circling the wagons. We need to be out advancing um, the work of the gospel, out where God's already at work. Um, who are we to hinder that movement? Who are we to get in the way of God? Instead, let's join. Let's join that train as it continues to, to move into this world. There's one of my Favorite New Testament professors at seminary talked about, you know, the gospel in college. He, he got hit by that train, he said. Um, he couldn't explain it, but he knew he wanted to get onto that very train where God was going. And that's how I feel too. I want to get out of the way. I want to make sure I'm not hindering what God is trying to do. I want to make sure I'm not creating walls and barriers so that others may, may not hear what I hear or see what I see or feel the love that I feel. Because that's what I want others to experience. God's 
reconciling, redeeming, restoring love in Jesus Christ. And that's what it means to be God's people. Let us pray. God, we thank you for the story of your church, a story of people who needed to to learn and see and experience you at work, but then from there to share it with everyone else. May we continue to do that through our actions and our words, through our humility, through the cultivation of life all around us, through the pursuit of justice and kindness and peace, uh, through being your people fully, depending upon you, but also participating with you. We ask that for people who are sick, who are tired, who uh, need hope and joy, who need to know how much they are loved. May we be your voice and your hands in very powerful ways right now. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Go in peace.